Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome once again, guys. Uh, today, we're going to discuss how the word became flesh. I'm going to show you. If you are wondering, like, how, how come the, the Christians they say the word became flesh? So, what do you do now? Okay? I just want to show you that. See? This is how the word became flesh. Okay? So, now, remember, Yahweh, the Father. The Father. Okay? The Father. And what does the Father do? He speaks his word, okay? The Father speaks his word. So the Father speaks. Speaks. And he said what? He said, let there be light. Okay? Let there be light. And what happened? You have light. Basically. Hmm? you see what I just wrote down here? The Father says, let there be light. And light comes out of nowhere. Okay? Out of nowhere. Not from the... Okay, let's just continue. Let me show you another format. The Father here again. It's the Father every time. See? It's the Father. The speech does not just come out of, uh, of his own self. His speech is from the Father. Okay? Or the Word. Okay? The Word. Mm-hmm. So the word, the father speaks his word and he says, let there be flesh. Okay, let it be flesh. And guess what? You have a human being. Okay, it's a human being. I don't want to draw like a figure of a human being. But this is a human being. A human. This is light. This is a human. Or baby Jesus. Jesus, peace be upon you. Okay, so the father says, be, he speaks his word, okay? And he says, be. And he says, there's no connection. Okay, let's, you see this now. When the father said, let there be light, did the word become the light or not? Answer that question. Think about it. The word said, let there be light. And who is God? God is the Father is the all-powerful, almighty. He can create from nothing. Ex nihilo. Okay? Ex nihilo. Remember this word. Okay? It basically means from nothing. From nothing. Okay? He creates from nothing. Okay? Anything else apart from God is from nothing. Every single thing. Light. Whatever you see. Whatever you think it is. That is not God, is created from nothing. Okay, not is created from nothing. Okay, so when God says, "Let there be light," light came out. Okay, just like that. When God says, "Be," let let human beings exist. God can create us, and that's how He created everything else. By the way, He says, "Be," and it, they they come into existence. Okay, and if you want to deny this premise now. If you want to say, no, 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 the word literally became flesh. And no one actually even believes that. Because see, the word didn't even become flesh in the Christian sense to me. Because if you now believe in the incarnation, okay, you believe in the incarnation and you have the, what's it called? The hypostatic union. You have the hypostatic union. Union, okay. This is the incarnation, basically. If this is what you believe in, I, I literally believe it. It didn't even become flesh, too. Because now, in this hypostatic union, what do we have? We have the Word. The Word. Okay, you have the Word. That is separate. Separated. And you have the flesh. You have the human, basically. Let me use the same sign. So you have the human. You have the Word and you have the human. They don't mix. They never mix, okay? This word is from God. You believe this? And you guys believe it's God, okay? This flesh that is created is also created from nothing. Guess what? The, word, the flesh is created from nothing. Even in hypostatic union, the flesh is created from nothing. Okay? In this one too, the flesh is created from nothing. The only difference here is that you believe this word is God. And me, I'm telling you, the word is the Father's word. Because the Father is the one speaking. Okay? The Father's word 
is the one, and the father has the power. And it says B, and it is. And guess what? Muslims agree with this line. Muslims agree. God says B, and it is. Kun fe yakun. How did God create Jesus in his mother's womb without the, without the man? He says B, and it is. Are you going to deny that God can say B, and it becomes? You can't say that. God can say whatever he wants, and it will come to existence, okay? Just like you guys believe he said, let there be light and there's light. You don't believe uh, there's, a, there's a union between... If you want to affirm this, since it's the same word, would you say that there's an apostatic union between the light, between the light and the word? Okay, would you say the the it became incarnate in the light? Of course not. So that we have the word here. Okay, you wouldn't want to say this. Okay, you wouldn't want to say this. You would just say the light came. God says there it be, and there it is. Same way. Why would you make the distinction? You see. And if you watch my other video I made about how the Logos became Jesus, okay? That's where the problem came. When you try to make God's word because of this line. And I can understand, by the way, I can understand your confusion. And I can understand it, okay? The fact that God says, be, uses word. And he says, be. And then you think that word is the one that became the flesh. No, it is the power. That is God. Remember, it's God. If it says be, and it becomes from nothing, just like this. So this hypostatic union is not needed, basically. God can still create, just like he said, light, let there be light. And without any hypostatic union, he can create us too. What makes you think we are different? God can create, God created everything else just like that. So there's nothing different about this whole thing. So I just wanted to point this out. How the word became flesh. How? God the Father. He said with his word, be, and it is, with his omniscient, uh, omnipotence, his power, all powerful, he can create from nothing, okay, and his word, remember, very important, his word is not separate from him, his word is not another person, his word is subject to the father, the father commands, and things happen, okay, simple, so, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.